all right good day guys and welcome to this channel once more my name is Gira Bright also known as architects guide okay so today I'm going to be teaching you guys on a topic how to save mm, how to save agricad files into PDF format for you to make it printable right right and you want to print your work okay so you save it in PDF before going to mostly there's a way you can do it it's layout right you you move this drawing to a layout but probably me I don't do that much okay, so what I'm doing what I do that's what I'm trying to tell you all right so this is a drawing I've already done okay um, so uh, uh, right before before going into it though I would like to you guys to subscribe to this channel right if you're new here just subscribe to this channel is to, to grow this channel to help me to support okay it's it's it will mean a lot to me to see you guys subscribe to this channel okay so i want to be creating more of this on a weekly basis for you guys and you can feel free to comment me below okay all right let's dive into it guys all right this is the floor plan i'm already done with it okay the last time i talked about um, using the market to cut a section in 3d right so now today i'm going to show you guys how to use uh mark you this mark you uh, what I usually use this, this you go here and then choose this other one, the thick one, not the lighter one, because the lighter one it's limited, but the thick one it's it can do a lot of things, a lot of other things that the thick light one cannot do. Okay, so now all you have to do this is my work, the title panel, everything is already set. Okay, floor plan uh, and the rest. So what I have to do now is to use my market tool to go over the area right and then i click okay so i've highlighted over the area of this sheet we want to save as a pdf right so we are going to the our goal here today is to save as a pdf right so i have after them um, going over this stuff so what i'm going to do now is to click ctrl shift s right just and you wait for a while and then a, a pop-up menu will come up asking you where to save a okay, save plan right so um here you have the file name and then you have a pdf okay the save as type so here there are a lot of things you can save it as a picture but picture if you want to save as picture it will capture the whole of the drawing sheets so it's mainly for just 3d drawings you use that one for okay so now what you want to choose now is the pdf all right then you change the name for example let me see floor plan for example floor plan okay so now um, you choose the location and uh, let me click desktop for my own okay desktop all right let me save my desktop okay so desktop and then now what you will do next is to uh, click on page options if you want if you want to print on an a4 on a3 you can select probably i usually print on a3 right so uh, choose landscape not portrait and then okay this one then go down to document options document options here uh, it's original or fits the page that's what they're asking you and then it's colored mostly you see that i have colors there so i want to save it as a color you can save as black and white so grayscale whichever one you want okay <laughs> it's just preference whichever one your choice okay so um is there's original there's fit to page and then there's custom so let me explain this to you original is the scale the scale is in drawing so you can see down here i used key one is 100 it's going to 100 uh it's going to one okay you can see i use scale one is 100 so that is the scale so if if i for adventure i use scale one is to 200 for the scale so it will show here scale one is to 200 so that's the original size of the drawing okay the one you did the original size so now fit to page if you have to do fit to page it will it will, it will enlarge the drawing into the paper size into the paper size which is a3 then uh, it will change the scale for it to to enlarge to change the scale so if you want to do original it's if you probably for school drawings okay you do original you print on original scale and then custom probably you wonder you want to choose the scale yourself you then type the scale 200 or maybe probably so i'm, I'm going to choose them um, original or uh, original yeah that's the scale so it's fitting to this page this is the page this is the page of my my drawing so it's fitting so i'll say okay and then what i'll click now is to 
click on save and then um, you wait a while and then the drawing is saved okay so let me go to my desktop okay it's not saved yet mm, my system is um, having a little bit uh, okay they're saved all right let me go to desktop and this is it this is the, the floor plan and let me open the pdf for you I'll show you how it's working all right PDF, 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 PDF. Please open, 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 open. Alright, it's coming up, it's coming up. It's coming up. So I would like this this medium to thank you guys once more for watching, for being a part of this, this tutorial. If it's helpful for you guys, please click on comment below. Okay, comment below and then also subscribe to this channel. I'm posting stuff like this on a weekly basis for you guys. 